guys. I am going to try and find my live here so I can see any questions that might be coming through. Um, this is all still new to me, so I'm figuring it out. <laughs> but yeah, I thought I would just pop on today and hang out with you guys. Um, let me turn this down. Hi, Eden. Um, you guys are in the mess of everything here, so apologies, but this is my working section. <laughs> um, I am just trying to see if I am going to be able to do this because I need two windows open to answer your questions as well as my Excel sheet here. Can you guys hear me with the music on? Let's see how I'm going to do this here. Well, Safari, let me open a second one. I might need to get another computer. Eden, I know. DHL has been horrible this week. Um, I don't know what is going on. They're either, like, great or not so great. It's really frustrating. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just thought I'd come on. I'm labeling plants for tomorrow, and I thought I'd uh, come hang out with you guys and kind of show you what I do um, all the time before live sales. So, um, hi, Ashley. So, I have these labels, which if anybody has a suggestion on labels that actually come off of pots nicely because these ones don't i'd love that um but yeah so basically like i number every single plant i have an excel spreadsheet um that i put everything in so every plant has a number um but so it takes a bit of time ahead of the live sale hi karen hi will um yeah it takes a bit of time ahead of the live sale to make sure that it's organized um, and then we also have, I don't know if you can see this label right here. So like we have each bin is numbered with the bin number and the number that the plants, like what number the plants are in here in order. Um, so it's the best way that we, um, oh, Ashley, did you try that? Oh gosh. Sorry, you guys. I know sometimes these labels so if you don't know I used to um, work at a family print shop um, and since I mean I started here and then my uncle who co-owned it my mom worked there I worked there my aunt worked there my grandparents started the business um, I used to get a really good deal on printing um, and since they've sold it I've been like too cheap to actually pay for the price that it is so I'm like I'm just gonna use these labels they just get taken off anyways and then I just bought sheet labels and I'm like these things suck <laughs> like you cannot get them off the pot so I apologize if you're fighting with them like I do the clear labels from Avery would probably work better okay I, I, sh I should try that Lindsay thanks for this oh nice yeah I guess if you have time to soak them I don't have time to soak all of them so I have like if I am repotting something and I want to like reuse the cup, because obviously I'm not just going to throw it away. Um, it's annoying. So I end up just putting like label over label. If uh, like this one, these, these ones weren't sold in the last live. So now they have two labels. Um, Hi, Crystal. Yeah, Eden. So the next U.S. shipment is going out um, April 22nd. So that leaves us enough time to, like, combine with your current order if you want. I tried to do that so that there's at least, like, a two-week, two-live sale time that you can, um, you know, combine extra plants if you want. Hi, little sunshine. Oh, I see a comment up here from Bo. We don't ship to to the to Europe yet. Um, 
I, it took me a really long time to like jump into shipping to the US. Um, I think I could ship to Europe. I would just, I, I'm just scared. I'm scared how long it would take. Um, but I definitely would. Um, something maybe to happen in 2024, maybe 2025. <laughs> oh, thanks, Crystal. It's not all the way down. It's, ha it's halfway there, halfway there. I cut my hair. I cut like probably seven inches off of it and it's still pretty long. Um, oh, Leanne, hi, Leanne. Um, and my hair, you know what? I never wear my hair down because it's just, it's a lot. But uh, this is as far down as I, and even when I do wear my hair down, I'm just like, oh my God, put it back up because it just, I hate hair on my face. Absolutely hate it. I'm excited to see your unboxing, Eden. If you guys are following here, Eden has a YouTube channel as well, and she's going to do an unboxing of the plants that she gets. And I hope you get the plants soon so that the unboxing, you're unboxing some good plants. <laughs> DHL needs to figure out their shit. Um, who else is here with us? I see 26 people. Anyways, I'm going to just keep, so I was kind of explaining my, my, um, what I do. So usually, like I said, I have the Excel spreadsheet. Um, I put, I pre write the numbers on the sheet because if you have ever heard me in a live sale, be like, Oh, I, I fudged up. Um, yeah, that's because I will, I still do it sometimes, but this I find helps me because I write the numbers down and then I can't miss something. The only way that I mess up now is if I forget to put that number in the Excel and it's a whole thing, but we figure it out. <laughs> um, how is pickup working for local? Um, so the, the front shop is open on Sundays only. So Sunday, 12 to 5 p.m., Anna is here and is available for pickups. Um, but I am here also during the week almost every day. Um, I have been trying to take Saturdays off, so nobody's here on Saturday. Um, having said that, I am sometimes here, but I try not to, try not to. So, but during the week, if you need to come during the week for a pickup, I can make that happen for you. Um, you would just need to DM me and let me know. Um, and it would be at the back door instead of coming into the front shop. Hi, Shelby. Oh, thanks, Will. I know. I'm always surprised, um how well the plants really do. I, 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 you know, I have people worry sometimes, and I worry too, um, when their shipment is delayed. Um, and more times than not, I mean, almost every single time the plants are completely fine. So I always say, you know, if your package is delayed, um, although I say, you know, most people say shipping is, you know, at your risk, um, if your plants arrive and they're like dead on arrival, I'm not just gonna say, oh, well, that's what you get, right? I'm always going to work with you. So um, I always say, get your plants first and then message me once you unbox them. And if there is any issues, just message me. Um, hi, Erin. How are you? Yeah, the front shop is really at this point turning into more of just like a local pickup um, rather than me really stocking much stuff in there. Um, I do stock some things, um, and a lot of like the hard goods, you know, pots and soils and all that kind of stuff. But, um, I don't have a ton of plants in there anymore just cause I'm kind of focusing on more online stuff. Um, the live sales and whatnot. So I don't want anybody to come in just for that and be disappointed if you, if you, you know, want to get some plants, it's always best to come in the live sale. This is why I like the live sales too, because, you know, you really get to see, you know, we show the plants, you get to see them nice in person, kind of, <laughs> um, more than a picture, right? Um, and then buy it from there and then pick up. And then if you need pots and soil and all that stuff, we have them too. Um, yes, Lisa, I'm going to get to it. I'm just chatting way too much right now. So <laughs> try to answer questions. Um, and explaining my process. So yeah, so I've already pre-wrote what was in my 
bin right here on here and then I just kind of put the labels on them but I'll grab them and show you as I go um, this is from this bin this is a really cute mag uh, crystal mag cutie and then I have some of the fresh imports from last time that didn't sell the prices are still the same um, some nice big Moronas there's a Regale Silver left. Oops. And then some really pretty. This one, I don't understand why it didn't sell. Bessier, it's gorgeous. And this one as well. Anybody else obsessed with Bessier like I am? I was not as obsessed with Bessier as I, as I am now. Um, Anna, who works here, she's like always been obsessed with Bessier. She has way more than she should have, but, <laughs> but I have just, I don't know, the more I get them in, I'm like, oh my God, they're like, they vary so much. And some of them are just, you know, they have a wider sinus, a longer leaf. They're just gorgeous. So it's scary when they vary so much because you can uh, collect many, many of them. <laughs> um, I've got a rugulosum leftover from last time. Lisa, the Warrocks. You know what? I haven't looked at them. Um, I watered them and I'm just, don't look, don't, nothing. I'm just gonna, they're gonna do what they're gonna do and likely they're gonna tank and then they're gonna grow back, so. That's okay. We've got one little lanceolatum, a lafaglossum lanceolatum left. And what else did I have in this bin? We've got a cutie crystallinum. Again, these are just the leftover uh, fresh imports. Um, minus this guy. This guy wasn't a fresh import. And what have I got? thought I had more in this bin. I guess I don't. So yeah, so then I just, we kind of have the bins here. As we do, um, I don't know if other people do this for their live sales, but this is just how I can keep everything organized because I have bins like over the winter time, you know, if I was holding your plants for weeks, sometimes a month, depending on like where you live and if it was cold, um, I, I'm looking over where I keep everything. We have bins, like, I try to change my label, like, my label color every time so that it'll, like, at least I can see, because I have four different colors right now, so, like, from four different live sales of plants that are held back with the date. So I put the bin number, the number of the plants that are in that bin, and then the date. Um, it's a little bit of organization, but this is the process that we have... Um, come to find that works really well for us and 99% of the time I can find every single plant there have been cases where we're like uh oh something's not where it's supposed to be and then we have to kind of go you know go detective and figure out what happened and where it went but usually it works out um I'm telling you the first time we ever did a live so this was last year um we Basically, well, for one, I wasn't using it using an Excel spreadsheet. So I was using, I was very old school before Charmaine and Alice were like, girl, you need to use the computer. <laughs> um, and I thank them for that every day now because I literally used to just write everything in a book by hand because I was like, the book can't get deleted and the book, you know, nothing, it can't get deleted out accidentally. So anyways, I wasn't very trusting of technology. But the first live that we did, um, yeah, I wrote everything down by hand and it was so, okay, so I wrote everything down by hand. I also didn't put um, bin numbers or plant numbers, like our numbers go in sequence, right? So like this bin, for instance, is bin three, 29 to 40. This first one, they just went in every random bin. And I'm telling you, that live took like, 
It took me like three days to get invoicing out and then the shipping to even pull the orders. It was like, it was took forever. So this is what we've come to realize works really well. And uh, yeah, oh, and then I have this little cutie. This is just a little Florida beauty prop that I'll probably just auction. Um, I have other little Florida beauty cuts and stuff. Um, I'm gonna show you some. I've already numbered these guys, but I'm gonna show you them because I love them. Any exciting crosses in the works? Yeah, I, um, we have some fun things in the works. Um, I actually just, so I've got Vag Bessier, which Vag is, um, it's a Crystallina Magnificum Cross with Forgetti Eye. Um, I had a low yield on that one, um, not very many seeds, so I don't, I'm not sure if I'll have any of those for sale. Um, I have some of these actually that I'm going to just sell as little like one leafers. These are Mag Cross with Pap. Um, those will be available tomorrow. Um, super cheap. I think we're going to do like 20 bucks for those. Um, what else do I have? I, my Queen of Hearts looks pollinated. Don't know. Don't know. It's done this before and then it's aborted. Um, but I pollinated it with Wonder Boy Cross Pap. So that'd be kind of cool. That was one of those where I just like literally keep pollinating it every time it, it flowers. Cause I'm like, maybe one of these days it'll, it'll work. <laughs> um, I also did, so I've got Forgetty Eye Red Crystal Brewing. I've got Crystal Hope Cross with Crystallinum. Um, I've got, what else do I have? Oh, you know, cool one that I just pulled some berries off of. Again, a very low yield, but I've got, um, so it's a Mag Morancy cross with a Nigro Laminum GG, which I think will be, I posted a picture of it on my Instagram um, recently, and I think that'll be a cool cross. Um, oh, fun, Ashley. What did you pollinate it with? Um, I'm looking over here because all the mother plants are over there. Um, I have Pluton cross with Hoffmanii. I'm reading the, I'm trying to read the thing on the front shop and then I forgot, or I'm reading your questions on the screen there and then I forgot I have it right here. <laughs> hey Holly, hey Pam. Hi Victoria. Ooh, dark forgetty eye, that's cool. Um, I just repot my forgetty eye, my dark forgetty eye and I'm really hoping it starts, I mean forgetty eyes flower so often, I'm sure it will because I'd like to do something with that. Um, I actually did pollinate, but I'm not sure if it's taken yet. So I pollinated my red crystal with Wonder Boy Pap as well. And then I also pollinated my dark forgetty eye with another dark forgetty eye. Um, what else did we do? I'm trying to remember what's all around here. I have my Crystallinum Luxurians is pollinated and I remember pollinating it and I didn't write a tag and it took. So now I don't know what it's going to be. I'm just going to have to sell it as open pollinated because I don't remember, which I am like kicking myself for that because I'm like, <sighs> anyways, it's taking forever. I think it's taking the long time like the Lux does. Um, tips for pollinating. So I try to I try to use fresh pollen. So like a lot of my crosses are just things that like sync up and work. I try not to use frozen pollen. I mean, I have used frozen pollen and it's work, but I try to just pollinate when it's ready. And I also like to pollinate when like the majority of the inflow already has the stigmatic fluid, because I find if you start to pollinate it, like if your plan was, oh, I'm going to pollinate this part that's receptive now and the rest will become receptive and I'll do that when it, it, it I find that it just doesn't and that might be my personal experience but I find it kind of stops producing the stigmatic fluid my hair you guys keep saying my hair is down this is what you consider my hair down you should see my hair down down I have no volume though because my hair is like 
so heavy. <laughs> but it's kind of down. <laughs> uh, mine won't stop flowering. Yay, I know. Forgetty eyes are just like, they flower, flower, flower. Most difficult anthurium. Um, Debeel. I won't grow it anymore because it won't grow. <laughs> Trying to pollinate a Hoff X crystal. Yay, that'd be cool, Pam. Hi, Tracy. Oh no. I know sometimes when they have too many inflows, they it's they struggle to um, Oh, that's cool, Sarah. You should do you have one of those? You should send me a picture if you can on Instagram. Holly, you know me. I don't lust for any plants. I I mean, I have plants, obviously plants that I really like. I'm, I see it and I'm like, oh, I like that. But I try not to overly want something because then I'm just, then I have to get it. And I don't, I don't want to, I'd rather just things just work out and I get the plant. That's how a lot of my plants, like, you know, you're, because I'm constantly kind of buying plants, you see things often. So if it comes about and that plant happens to be offered for sale, then, uh, then I get it. But nothing, nothing on the top of my head that I can think of that I'm like, I have to have it. No, not doing it. Don't make me do it, Holly. <laughs> oh, Sarah, you're in the UK. Cool. Well, if you follow me on Instagram, I'd love to see a picture of that cross you're talking about. Um, okay. I'm going to show you guys a couple of these. I am absolutely loving how these are turning out. Um, this is my cross. If you let me know in the comments, if you have one of these. So this was the Magnificum cross with Ralph Lynam Fort Sherman. And when I tell you these are coming out so pap like, I'm not lying. They're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. And look at how pretty those are. They're so pretty. I know Ashley just shared hers and I'm sure she can attest to what I'm saying um, because they're so pretty. So I pulled, I'm hoarding these. I'm really hoarding these. Like I have bins of them, but, and I keep finding them in other places. I'm like, oh, I must've shoved those in the corner just cause I uh, <laughs> wanted to keep them all. But I pulled nine of them. I pulled nine of them to sell because I can't keep them all and they're getting bigger so those are gorgeous um this is a cross I had a really low um yield on but it's a Meg Verde cross with a red crystallinum so I got one of these guys yeah Leanne I think she's gonna cut it again um I think Char is not going to be here this week, but um, she's going to send some plants. Um, and then I have, I don't want this bin to fall down. Um, these are also really cute. Um, Crystal Hope crossed with Luxurians, and they're turning out super cute and round. I got a few of these. I only pulled two of these. I have more of them. So if you guys are interested in them, let me know and I can maybe pull some more. Um, and then I have these, which love them. They're turning out so dark. I think I'm going to do this cross again. I know Luxurian's crosses are kind of played out. Um, but this one is really cute. I don't know if you can tell how much darker that is than like the Crystal Hope. Look at this. I get so much darker. Um, so this is a Meg Verde Lux. And they're really cute too. I got three of those. Um, and then this is just a little like node of, it's a rooted pokin node. I don't know if you can see the little node there. This is a um, Skindapsis Halley Moon. 
so it's a variegated skin dapsis. I'm gonna do an auction on that guy. Um, oh no, plants down. And then, what have I got in here? Let me have a peek over here. So I've got some mid-cut um, Spiritus Sancti. Do a little auction on those guys. I'm not gonna pull the rest of those out because they're kind of far, but I've got a uh, Monstera Stanleyana Aria, some Syngonium Albos. There's actually a big Heterocraspidon prop. There's like one leaf and then big leaf. Okay, we're gonna number some more plants now. I'm gonna try and read your questions well. I don't have any more variegated ones that I wanna sell yet. Um, the ones that I have sold have shown me to be variegated for multiple leaves. Um, some of the other ones kind of will be variegated and then they won't and the variegation comes back so i'd rather just not sell them yet um and then the ones that are really variegated i'm keeping <laughs> pluton and oh holly they're too big and too heavy to bring out right now but maybe i'll try and take a picture of them i repot my um dark phoenix and it hates life right now so i'll wait for a new leaf and the pluton is growing berries so i try not to like bring them out when they're when they're growing babies um i personally have never done it but i've had a certain someone working here <laughs> that has um broken inflows when they're growing berries so i tend to just try and leave them and yeah uh, bro, Mark Slime. I think I have one left. So if you're interested in it, I can put it in the live sale. Um, tomorrow. I think it's actually on the website. So. Oh, you got double growth. That's awesome. You're laughing, Holly. Do you know who it is? <laughs> have I have I told you who it was? <laughs> she felt horrible, and I was like. It's even though I was dying inside, I was like, it's okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Um, yeah, there's some, I'm hoping for a lot. I, I'm, I'm feeling that itch to like squish berries and have a big batch of berries. Oh, the other thing I have plants in the front shop, but I think I did, I might've done Meg Lux again. I can't remember what I put on that one. I think that's what I might've only had at the time. Okay, Ainsley, I'm going to write myself a note to pull for live. Um, okay, I have, I'm going to look what I have in this bin so that I can uh, price them out here. These... I was actually going to keep one of them. Hi, Marnie. Um, should I keep one? I don't know. They're so pretty. So this is a sub signatum hoff. And it's getting big. Like it's still, it's a good size. Got two of these. Um, aren't they pretty? So I'll have those two guys. I was really tempted to keep this one or chop it and keep a bottom cut, but I think I'll just let you guys have it. I have one left that is a little bit smaller, but I'll grow. Do you still hold large beta? Do I have large beta? Um, not really. I kind of chopped them up. Um, yeah, I don't really have very many left anymore. If you see me looking off to the side, it's because of where all the plants are. <laughs> yep, 
you know what? I'm going to leave it up to fate because I'm going to offer it to you guys. And if nobody wants it, like I've had these on the website, I think for, I don't know how long. So that's why I was like, maybe it's fate that I should keep it, but I'm going to offer it to you guys. And if nobody buys it, I'm going to keep it. Okay, what else have we got in here? I've got a Burl Marks variegated. Um, this one does look like it is growing full variegation and the next leaf as well. So I'll probably just do this super, super cheap starting bid. Um, you might be able to cut it back down and then get some nice growth, like if it continues to just be fully variegated because um, the stem does have green in it. So you can cut it back down and but I'll do that for a cheap start bid. Eden, you're gonna buy it. If you buy it, you have to send me lots of updates. <laughs> like look at how flat that sinus is on this one. They're really cute and they're super easy going. Like these have been growing out um, just in the shop here, which right now the humidity is 57%. So. They're not super fussy. Thank you guys for joining me during my work day. What's everybody doing? Now, depending on where you are, might still be work time where do you get where are you guys what time is it where you guys are and if you're in Vancouver are you working and watching me <laughs> um, okay we've got another Florida beauty mid cut um, I have more of those oh they're in the other bin oh here it is and another Florida Beauty mid cut. Almost the end of your work day. 4.30. Oh wow, you're four hours ahead, hey? Nine PM or AM? Oh PM. Oh. So right before bed. <laughs> yeah, so this one has two leaves, but it is a mid cut. And then this one has one leaf mid cut, both with um, little growth points pop in. Nessa, you moved? Oh, Sarah, that sounds nice. Crystal, don't fuck up your floors because you're watching me. <laughs> oh, Nanaimo. Was that for work or was that by choice? Because I'm telling you, if my whole family didn't live in North Van, I would be somewhere else because it is so damn expensive here. Um, what am I doing? Florida. Beauty. You know what I'm not doing? See, you guys are going to make me screw this up. <laughs> um, I got to put this into my... Oh, goodness, what is falling down? I got to put this into my... My Excel. Okay, 41... Before I screw up too much, I better do this. So this is why I usually look in the bin, write it on here, then I can transfer it to my Excel. But I got uh, distracted. <laughs>
Okay, now I can't see your comments. Crystal, I don't even know how you do the flooring yourself. Like, I feel like I could too, but the, like, math of, like, cutting and... No, too much. Too much for me. How many of you guys have gotten a duck with your order? Look at how cute all these little colors are. Can you see? I think this is a new color. And this is a new color. Nessa, did you, um, did you have a Vitar Folium before? Both blue. See, this is the problem. Now I'm sending, I'm trying to remember to send them with every order, but I'm not going to remember what color you got, so... You got the same color. Sorry. <laughs> Hopefully you'll get something else. Yeah, they've been a real hit with kids. Everybody's like, my kid lost the dock and it's the end of the world. Can you send another one? I'm like, yes, I will. <laughs> Mushrooms, yeah, that'd be cute. I know, you know what, this, I don't even really know how the duck started, but I know I got them because Rylan came home from school one day and he was like, he had a duck and I was like, where did this duck come from? He was like, oh, my friend gave it to me. They're friendship ducks. And then he wanted to buy ducks to give to his friends. Um, and of course he got, I mean, I had to buy a hundred of them. So he took like two and gave them to two of his friends or took a handful or whatever. And then he didn't care about the ducks. And then I brought it up in a live sale and someone asked for one and I was like, sure. And then I just started putting them in there. So, <laughs> so now everybody's getting friendship ducks. <laughs> Oh man, if you don't have one, you might have ordered before the ducks. And I have to say, occasionally I'll just get packing and then I'm like, crap, I didn't put ducks in those plants. So if you didn't get one, I apologize. Don't be too mad at me. Okay, I need to, before I get lost here... Who is 43? There we go. I watch a lot of live sales because, I don't know, I have just as much fun watching live sales as I'm sure you guys do. Um, and I don't know how people don't, some people don't even put numbers on their plants. And I'm like, how? I would be so lost and just, it would just take so much more time to find everything. I don't know how they do it. I couldn't do it. But I'm gonna look into those clear labels. See if the if my Sharpie, because I usually use a Sharpie. I wonder if a Sharpie will show up on it well. Willing to try anything. I think I saw a Where do you get them? The ducks? Aw. I encourage you to just come and chill. If like if even if you can't buy in a live sale, just come chill. I literally watch live sales all the time and I'm not buying things, but I'm just like I like to see different plants and like what's available and have a little hangout. Sarah, real ducks? You're fostering real ducks? They're so cute, but the, the, um, friendship ducks definitely are probably lower maintenance. <laughs> um, someone else asked me, so the other thing that I, when I started Googling, cause I was like, I've never heard of like friendship ducks or whatever. So I Googled it and apparently it's like a Jeep thing too. Like if you own a Jeep, does that, do any of you guys own a Jeep? Like apparently you can get duck. Like, other Jeep owners put ducks on your Jeep? 
Anybody heard this before? You know how I do it, Will? I do it because I watch Plant Story and they are not in Canada right now. That's the only way I can have the self-control because I watch Plant Story and I mean, technically I could get it shipped to my PO box, but that involves a whole trip, right? So uh, yeah, that's how I do it. <laughs> so you know about the Jeep thing? I don't know where it is or if it's just everybody. I don't know if, it, if it's like, I don't know. I'm not a Jeep girl, but I heard about it when I was looking up why my kid came home with a friendship duck. <laughs> Friendship ducks, that can be a new hashtag. Hashtag North Shore Tropicals, hashtag friendship ducks. <laughs> Friend for your plant. Um, okay, oh look what I have. I have a little baby vitarifolium. <laughs> a little baby one. So this thing needs a repot because the stem is like so long and then it also popped from a bottom node. So, oh gosh, it's dripping on my computer. Little vitarifolium. My foot is falling asleep sitting on this chair. Okay. Um, we're gonna do 46 for this guy. Number. Oh gosh, if I spelled something wrong. Sarah, are they like baby ducks though? Cause that is adorable. I know Sarah. Okay. Now you need to send me a picture of the plant and the dogs and the dogs. <laughs> Please. And thank you. So if you guys have joined us in past lives, you know that I always pull like $1 hollas. Um, things like, this guy, majestic. Um, I've got a white wizard. What else do I have in here? I've got a splendid, a Mayoi. I used to always say Mayoi. May I, may I, and then someone that used to work here labeled all the plants we got in as Maori eyes. So then it was a joke that these were Maori eyes. <laughs> and then Charmaine and Alice always say Mayoi. So now, or Mayoi, Mayoi. So now I'm trying to say Mayoi. Mayoi. Um, I've got another majestic. And then I've got um, two, these are Midrium Medium Variegated. So I got two little props of those guys. Those will be some of our $1 hollas. I'm gonna write all those down, so do not forget. Um, Do you guys like the $1 haulers? I know they're a lot of like the same thing because they are just, you know, things that I have propping. Um, are you bored of them or do you like them? I would love your feedback. You know what else? I am um, planning an import soon um, and I'd love to know what you guys are looking for. If you have any suggestions of things you're looking for, let me know. Oh, 
Yeah, send me the pictures. Sounds so cute. I remember when I used to like work at the barns at the Peony here, which is like, I don't know what you guys call it other places, but it's like Playland Peony. It's like um, an amusement park basically, but the Peony portion of it is only for two weeks. And um, they have a barn there. And um, I used to work when I was like a teenager there in the summer and the baby ducks were always my favorite. They were so freaking cute. Bloody serum. Erin, are you into those? I have never, never had them. And AOS is not basic. Um, I cut my dark, my AOS dark form last week. So cross your fingers that it roots and that uh, it might be available. It's just the, like, I, got, I think I got three butt cuts out of it. So I'm hoping um, they root out well and start popping some leaves. Silver sword. Are they still really expensive? Well, I never got those either. I, um, there, so I started my business in 2018. Um, and then I really got into like imported plants, like kind of the end of 2018, starting like my website. I started my website in the, in the beginning of 2019. So I was buying a lot of these plants that in 2020, all of a sudden were like, five times as much as they were when I started my business and I just couldn't do it. I was like, I can't do it. I, I just cannot spend that much money on these plants. So there's some plants that I've just never bought, never bought, never bought for myself, never bought for the shop. I was just like, nope, I won't do it. So you tell me, are they still really expensive? Mid triples. Hmm. I have to say, um, I don't know how many of you are watching from the US, but after watching Plant Story, your prices for a lot of things are still really high. I was surprised. Like I, um, I try, I mean, I try to keep my prices, um, I think fair. Um, obviously there's costs to things so you know certain things I can't do super cheap but I think I try to keep my prices um, pretty cheap or fair okay I don't know why I can't open another window let me try file new window yes okay now I'm now I'm working here Only took me, how long have I been live for? Only took me half an hour to figure this out, but you know, we'll get there. Um, so I have like really been struggling trying to find the time to actually film YouTube videos. Um, and I know this form of YouTube video is like, it's fun to have the live, right? Um, and then if people miss it, they can go on my channel. I'll post it on my channel after this. Um, but I don't know how people feel about that. I just feel like it's some kind of something up here. Um, and I have a lot of fun, you know, chatting with you guys. Um, but is this something that like, if you missed the live, you'd go and watch afterwards, not necessarily always just being plants that are going to be, but if I, you know, take you around and show you plants around the shop, but do it in a live, um, format, is that something that you guys would like go back and watch if you missed it? Um, I just find it hard to find time to do it all. So.
Okay. Good to know. Yeah, because I feel like, you know, I'm still doing the things that I need to do, doing it live, and then um, it's just more the real raw me. <laughs> There's no editing, so I'll probably say um like 5,000 times, and I can't cut them all out, but you know, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. I say um a lot. Yeah, I'm definitely always repotting. <laughs> That's actually my favorite thing to do. If I could literally just like propagate plants, pot plants, do that for the rest of my life, and that was my job, I would just die a happy woman. <laughs> it's my, but I usually put on like a podcast um, and just repot. And I could do that all day. I was my child. So is anybody watching here from North Van? Um, there, he has something called, it's called the Longhouse. So it's like a program up in Squamish. Um, I think the North Shore School District owns the property and the whatever, but it's, um, it teaches the kids like indigenous culture and they get to spend the night there in the longhouse and they make bannock and they do weaving, a um, bunch of cool things. Um, so they go to longhouse when they're in grade three and then they think they do outdoor school in grade four. Um, but anyways, he was there on Monday. Um, so I shipped everything on Monday and then I had no kids. So I was like, what am I going to do with myself? So I stayed here till eight o'clock <laughs> potting plants and cutting plants and repotting some of my own plants and yeah I spend way too much time here way more time than I probably should but can't help myself because at the end of the day like this is my business but it's also like truly my passion as well so it's kind of mixed business and pleasure business get to have my fun stuff but also sell plants so it's kind of cool Sorry guys, I'm just putting these in here before I lose the numbers. keep trying to read your messages on my phone there and I'm like you're kind of far away well I don't know if you could tell not that far but one second but when I gotta go back to my other screen and I'll read your comment um, okay what do we got here So I have one more bin that I'm going to show you guys after this. Um, I haven't pulled everything for the live. It's not going to be as big of a live as, or as many plants as last time. Um, I always say that and then I find a bunch of stuff, but yeah, I'm not, I don't have a ton of plants this time. I think we're at maybe 75 plants. Um, I also have, Alice is gonna bring some, Charmaine will drop some off at Alice's. Um, hello from Seattle. So I, um, like I always had plants, 
Um, and I actually started my business in, but I had like regular plants. Like I'd go to Ikea and get a cute pot and a plant and then neglect it and then go and get another one. Um, so I don't know if you could call me a plant parent at that point because at that point they were struggling. They were just holding on for dear life. Um, but uh, yeah, around 2018 um, was when I did my like first import. I remember I found like a Monstera Thai constellation and I was just like, I have to have it. And I found a place, I could, you couldn't find them anywhere in Canada at the time. And I found a place, I think they were in like Ontario or Montreal. Um, their website literally looked so scammy. I was like, well, YOLO, we're going to see if it, if something shows up. Um, it did, it showed up, but I was like really underwhelmed with it. Like, you know, of course on the internet, you see the most gorgeous specimens and so much like variegation on it. Um, and the one that I got at the time, you know, I felt like it was a lot of money. They were, it was probably still more than what they are now. Obviously the price went way up and then they've gone way down. Right. Um, but I was really underwhelmed with it. And I was just like, oh, like it had hardly any variegation. It was just kind of like meh. So I was like, you know what? I'm, cause I was selling plants. Um, I was like, I'm just gonna find them myself and import them. So I didn't even know at the time, but I imported like 500 TC. I had no idea what TC was at the time. Imported them. They came in and they were like, so tiny literally half of them just like melted like melted um but i got 500 of them so yeah that was a good experience of uh what not to do um i think some of it too was just like in shipping they just they weren't like they didn't send them now knowing what tc is like they didn't send them in the agar they sent them already like deflasked flasked or whatever it is i still don't really do tc but um so they, they suffered in shipping. Um, anyways, that was the kind of the first one um, that got my obsession for like harder to find plants. I don't really like saying the word rare because really nothing that we collect is like ultra rare. That's even a worse word. Um, but that was kind of the first hard to find plant that I got. Um, and then I started importing from Thailand and opened my website um, I think it was April of 2019 um, but yeah that was kind of what was the first what was the question <laughs> so yeah probably around like my my own collection collection probably early 2019 is when I really got into like imported plants um, and I mean, at the time in Canada, it was, it was hard. You never really saw any of this, these plants, right? So I knew when I started my business that I wanted to, um, I wanted to have a space where people could see the plants in person. And that's why I got the shop that I have because I wanted, um, plants that people maybe didn't usually see, um, be able to see it in person, even if you couldn't afford it. Cause you know, 2020 went crazy with prices, um, 2021 too at least be able to see it in person. Um, now a lot of that stuff is, you know, in our garden centers and, you know, have become more common. Um, here's a question for you guys. Um, do you find in this plant hobby, like, are you more, do you find that you're more attracted to a plant? For instance, is there any philodendron people in here? Philodendrons have gone into TC like crazy. So a lot of the plants that, you know, we were paying hundreds of dollars for in 2020, 2021 are now TC plants and they're $5 in a garden center or $10 in a garden center. Do you still feel that same like want for that plant now that it's as common as it is? Or do you feel like in this hobby, we kind of strive to like get things that are harder to find, even if that costs us a lot of money? Because I find that people seem to just not want them anymore after they're like, oh, now they're available in the masses. They're not as like fun. It's 
Is that specifically for TC NASA? Because um, I don't know if everybody. So do you remember um, Tetrasperma? For anybody who's local, um, do you remember the Tetrasperma that like was it Devon's was selling them and they were coming out all like funky and like ugly looking? And I was like, Something, something's not right there. They don't look good. <laughs> Right? And I'm like, are they less desirable because they're more accessible or is it because that fad of them happened like years ago? You know what I mean? Like, like a couple years ago. Or is it because they're just so accessible now that we're like, meh. I don't know. It's weird how your brains work. My brain, at least. I don't know how your guys' brain works, but my brain, I'm kind of like, oh, now it's just like your everyday plant at the garden center. You can kick yourself for how much you paid for them two years ago. <laughs> yes, Leanna, and that's like a big thing too, right? It's like buy the plant because you like the plant, not because it's rare or un, or it's harder to find. Yes, Ainsley, that's a good point. Um, there's some things um, that they're, like I've seen more anthuriums coming out in garden centers. Um, see, there I go with my ums again. Um, 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 that uh, I'm like, how are they even like living in these, gar like the greenhouses? Yes. But then they go to a garden center and you're like, mm, is that going to live for very long? reading all your comments Leanne yeah crawlers so I literally have um personal plants I've gotten a lot of rid of a lot of my philodendrons and crawlers specifically like there's so much upkeep like they just crawl right out of that pot before I ever get to it and then I'm like oh hey you're like hanging down it's 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 too much it's too much Yes, the hybrids are fun, Erin. They're really fun. And, you know, I don't breed a lot of anthuriums, but I, I do, you know, make some plants. And I have to say it has been really, really fun now that they're getting a little bit bigger and you can actually see their different traits. Like seeing, it's, it's really fun. Yes, Gloriosum zebras are gorgeous. Um, you never got into philodendrons at all, Ashley? Tanya, those plants from Devon's, I'm not, I'm not certain they're regale. I saw them post the like, Regale mags or something, and I don't know. They don't look like Regale to me, but that could just be because Devin's plants all look like they've been bleached to high heaven. But it'll be interesting to see it grow up. I do find smaller Regales usually hold on to more leaves. But um, grow it out and let me know. I'm not confident they're Regale, though. Yeah, Nessa. Philodendrons. Philodendrons. They're a lot of work, whether they crawl or whether they climb. <laughs> yeah.
Yamos Regales are one leaf wonders or a two leaf wonder at best when they get bigger, I find. Oh, Kayla, where is back home for you? So jealous of people who, that's the other thing, I go on plant story and people are like in California or Florida and they just have greenhouses in their backyards and the whole setup and I'm like, oh, I wish, I wish. Tanya, the next live sale is tomorrow. So I have decided, and I'm hoping I can keep to it, that I'm going to do a live sale every Friday at 2 o'clock. It's just easier to say every Friday at 2. Well, Monsteras are great. They also get big and take up a lot of space, too. From Belize. Oh, beautiful. I've never been there, but I've heard it is gorgeous. I actually had... Um, I used to own a horse, so one of my old riding instructors, she, um, her husband was from Belize, so they used to go there every year. I try to add one duck per order, Nessa. <laughs> if I put a duck in every single plant, I'd have to buy like thousands of ducks. Aw. Does anybody live in Florida that's on here? I've heard Florida is gorgeous for weather, but interesting place to live. Jing is back. Um, I haven't asked her. I don't think she's going to come this week, um, but I should message her. I'm going to message her actually after this and see if she's going to come. Yeah, there's a lot more philodendron hybrids. There's actually some cool ones, but I've seen, well, what was it? Like um, Florida Beauty Tordum or Myoi? Does that sound? Erin, you did? That's so exciting. Are you going again, Holly? I would love to go. I just feel like I have child and my dog and like the business and how, how do I make it work? Yeah, Ainsley, I saw, was it? I think it was Harry selling Plant Zaddy um, on does anybody else watch Plant Story here? <laughs> I think um, I saw him selling one and it was so cute. It was little, but it looked really cute. Nessa, I like anything variegated, um, but I don't like the price. So if the price was less, I would probably try one, although they're philodendrons. So, I mean, I still have my... I have a massive UPI and I'm a massive spiritus and I still do have a gloriosum here actually because I cut it down and then it just doesn't stop growing. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, the, the, some of the variegated gloriosums are looking really nice. You want real ducks or one of my ducks? <laughs> one of my friendship ducks or real ducks? My dream is literally to move to property and have a greenhouse and a barn and have miniature horses and donkeys and ducks and goats and ugh, it would be so fun. Yeah, Erin, mine lives like way up there and... I swear the wingspan on that thing is like probably seven feet. I'm not even joking. Like the leaves, the leaves are like massive and then the petiole and then the plant grows like this. It's massive and I don't know what to do with it anymore. 
so she's just up in the rafters, growing, growing away. Well, I'm glad you come and watch, Sarah. We appreciate you hanging out with us. I don't know if I want chickens as much as I want ducks, although I'm not a big egg eater, so I don't know if I'd want chickens. Ducks poop a lot. <laughs> they probably do. I know that's the thing is like, I want all these animals, but I like don't wanna have to take care of them. So I'm like, I have to reel myself in and remind myself that all these things poop. They all need to be fed and they all need to be cleaned. And I'm telling you, as I've gotten older, I have gotten so much better at that. Cause when I was a, like younger, I would just get anything I was allowed to get and have all the animals. Um, there's not a Florida beauty, but there's a Florida ghost in the shop waiting for someone to pick it up. That is true. Although he's not very good at helping. <laughs> he, uh, he makes more messes. He's like, would be the extra animal around town. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do a couple more plants in this bin and then this bin is done. I've got, uh, a little variegated fry deck. And I've got another Florida Beauty. And then I've got a Linamii. Cute is this one. Look at this leaf. Is that not the cutest leaf you've ever seen? So cute. Hey, Corey, um, what kind of dark anthuriums are you looking for? Um, I showed some of my cutie Meg Ralph Lina and Port Shermans that are um, turning out really, really dark, actually. They're very much taking on um, the pap side of it, I believe. Bye, Sarah. Thanks so much for ch hanging out with us. Maybe we'll see you tomorrow. Wait, if we start at two o'clock, does that mean that it's like 10 o'clock for you? Darker the better. You know what I do have, um, and I'll look through them. So I've really been trying to cut a lot of my plants, but they're like butt cuts, right? Like the little bottom cuts. Um, but I have a ton of those. I could check and see if there's any popping. Like I said, we're gonna have less plants this um, live because I sold a lot of stuff yes, or last week. Um, so not a ton, um, but I am gonna try and spend a little bit of time after I get off trying to pull some more plants. So if it's mainly anthuriums that you guys are looking for, um, I can try and pull some more seedlings trying to think what else I have that I can sell you guys, but I'll have a peek.
Okay, 54, who are you? This is a little bit chaotic to do this with it on a live. <laughs> but I'm making it work, making it work. I think I might just show you guys what's in this next bin and then I don't know if I can multitask as good as I thought I could. <laughs> After this, I'm gonna just show you guys and then I'll number them off camera because I feel like I just spend more time looking at my computer than chatting, so. Okay. Bye, Nessa. Thanks for coming in here. Yeah, you got your Lux, Corey. Um, do you love it? I hope you do. It's gorgeous. I'm gonna put a little soil on top of this guy. So I actually just took a bunch of cuttings of, was it Pluton? Yeah, a Pluton, Neptune. I got so many cuttings of things, you guys. I'm, it's gonna be good gonna be good in the next couple of weeks maybe a month how do you guys feel about buying butt cuts like I feel like it's a way <clears throat> to get things a little bit cheaper than you would have you know paid for something larger um, and I usually, like, I like to do auctions for them because then it's just, I kind of just start the bidding out low and, you know, you pay what you're comfortable paying. D, are you, you're in the U.S., right? Just remind me. Too impatient I know it's it's not for everybody but I find um, if you get a cut that is more like a mid I call them the mid butt um, and the stem is thicker like your leaves are gonna get bigger faster um, obviously a butt butt cut is it's gonna take a little bit longer and kind of reverting back to like growing it from a seedling almost so D if you're in the US um, there, so I'm doing every two week shipments for the US. So the next one goes out April 22nd. So you could add plants to this, like from this live tomorrow to your order. Cause I send the paperwork mid next week for them to be inspected before they go out. That's true, sometimes they explode with growth points, right? Okay, another bin done. And this is going to be bin. So 
that's what my it's backwards but you get the idea bin number number of plants that are in the bin and then the date so when we have to go and find your orders to ship them we can find them sorry if this is loud And Frankie's just having a little snooze down there. Do you want to come say hello? Come here, Franks. Come say hi. Um, Corey, no. I probably won't do that on Instagram. I'll just r roll over to the next live. Um, I just did the import ones because they were imports. And I wanted them to go out as soon as possible. Frank, where are you? Come here, buddy. Come say hi. Come on up. Oh, say hello. Say hi to our friends. He was having a snooze. Frank, come here. You want to come up? He's like, no, I'm too tired. Come on. I'll lift you up. Come on. <laughs> He's like, no. You silly guy. Sleepy boy. When there's nothing going on, he just sleeps the whole day away. Hey? And say hello he's like no not happening okay i'm gonna quickly show you guys what is in this bin again not a lot of anthuriums um he is the sweetest boy he gets a bad rap because he likes to bite people's feet but he's really a sweet boy <laughs> Well, there you go, Corey. You need to... Oh, I was going to say... You, I thought you said you take smoke breaks from the live. I was going to say you need to quit smoking. <laughs> then you can come watch the lives. But you were saying you were doing it to uh, get on the live. Um, okay, so I've got another Borrow Marks. This one is kind of doing the opposite of what the other one was doing. The other one was getting too variegated. This one has kind of reverted so again I'm gonna do it super cheap starting bid one dollar and you can play around and chop it up or just have a nice green burl marks um variegated everything is dripping on me I've got again these are like the small plants are one dollar hollas a cute little splendid um, I'm going to probably add these to the $1 hollows. These are um, silver dollar vine. Don't ask me how to say the actual name. Dang eye or some. I don't know. Silver dollar vine. Don't make me do it. Don't make me say it. Um, what else do we have that is different in here? I've got Mexicanum. And I've got a cute, nicely variegated um, Syngonium elbow. I've got a Heterocraspidon. This was the prop leaf, and that's the new leaf that came out. Oh my goodness, it is water everywhere. Shouldn't be doing this around my computer. Um, oh gosh, okay, here. <laughs> this is a mid cut of a um, philodendron. I believe this one is a majesty. Gotta double check, but I believe that's what it is. Look at how dark it is. Super pretty. Um, we're... I got a glad hands. Oh my gosh, I shouldn't have watered these plants before I numbered them. Um, glad hands. Nice big one. I've got a Florida ghost. And that's about all. I got some more little $1 Majestics. Um, oh, there's a Plow Manii here. Yeah, that's about all. So I am going to, um, like I said, I'm going to go through my seedling section and I'm going to see what other seedlings I can pull for you guys. Uh, I have 
lots of nice Crystal Hope Luxes. So if that is something that you guys are um, looking for, they're turning out really gorgeous. Um, the Mag Ralph Line M Fort Sherman's, like I said, we're gonna have, these are gonna be like 20 bucks, a seedling, just a little one leaf. Um, Mag crossed with Papilla Laminum. Uh, who else do I have? Let me go look through my seedling section, see what else I have ready for you guys. Um, I, I'm realizing as I'm doing this now that I have pulled a lot more philodendrons or non-antheriums. Um, but yeah, it is going to be a little bit smaller of a live tomorrow. I'm not sure what Alice is bringing, um, or Charmaine, but they'll have some good stuff too. And, um, I'm going to call Jing and say, Hey Jing, how many Hoyas you got? <laughs> she just got back though. So I'm not sure if she's going to come tomorrow. Um, but she might. I gotta go look around you guys sometimes I feel like I have no plants and then I look around and I'm like oh I got this 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 so I'll try and pull some more um there was one order someone canceled of a um I know you guys a lot of you were looking for those was the um Clarinervium hybrid cross self and I had one person just not reply to me and that was on their order so I'll have one of those um hi simon leanne you love hoyas hey i now that i have like no hoyas in the shop or very minimal i think i have like literally a handful of hoyas left here i'm like should i make a hoya order am i gonna regret that if i make a hoya order <laughs> Oh, Petra, we'll come hang out even if you're not going to buy. We always love to hang out with you guys. I've heard of it, Corey, but I don't know if I've ever seen a picture. Send me a picture. Yeah, only nasty, crusty Hoyas. Nasty, crusty, or silver. <laughs> Those are the, ma the mandatory... Yeah, I'm debating it. Um, I just don't, I feel like I'm so out of touch of Hoyas. And the, one of the reasons why I kind of got rid of a lot of the Hoyas that I had was because I had, um, if anybody here doesn't know, in um, 2022, so the end of 2021, I got a greenhouse space um, out in the valley that I was really excited for. Um, I was going to hopefully grow a lot more stuff and do a little bit more wholesale. Um, mainly Hoyas is what I was gonna try and wholesale. Um, the greenhouse ended up being an absolute disaster. Um, the owner of it kind of misrepresented what the space really was. Um, so I had a lot of issues there um, and I was only there for six months and I had to get out. I was just, things were horrible. Like we're talking about, didn't have heat through the winter for the majority of the time I was there. Um, he was telling me that I should fix the wall, like, which is like, the, it was a poly greenhouse. Um, and he was like, oh, there's not enough air in there. Like you could just, I'm like me, I'm no, I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm renting a fully ready greenhouse from you. And we're talking, it had like an Argus system and you know, all the stuff that should be good. Um, but when I moved in there, like I couldn't use the misting system. I couldn't use the retractable awning. I couldn't like all the stuff. So it was anyways, long story short, I had to get out of there, but I put about, 60 grand worth of plants into that greenhouse um and a lot of them were hoyas <laughs> so i had a lot of the same type of hoyas um and i was just kind of over having the same type so i always said i'm gonna kind of get rid of a lot of the hoyas and then 
like re if I do get more Hoyas I'm gonna get different types so um, but having said that I, I do feel kind of out of touch of what people are looking for in, as far as Hoyas go so if you have any suggestions um, shoot me a message or leave a comment here on what ones you would like to see if I do one it'll probably be a little order um, oh yeah you should have seen some of the plants it was like I moved in there I got the place in December moved in and well got the place in December here's a story for you so I got the space in December um, with the plan on moving in in January well we had like a really cold cold snap um, and I remember so the it was like a three acre greenhouse and I was like sharing it right with other people so nobody was in there at the time um, and he I kind of had said to him I was like do you have the heat on at least like for the pipes so that the pipes don't freeze because uh, pipes freeze when it goes down to minus 10 right and it was getting gonna be really really cold so he was like oh yeah I know you know everything's good so he I don't know that he knew anything about a greenhouse not that I knew anything about a greenhouse either but like I had enough like insight to be like pipes freeze when it's cold maybe you should at least turn the heat up enough so that it stays above freezing and he's like oh yeah, yeah, I know all that. so okay fine it's your place so come the beginning of January I get a message and pictures that the pipes burst because he didn't put the heat on so I'm so I was delayed moving in and I probably should have like taken that as a like oh god watch out but I mean I had already put a big deposit down and so I went with it but anyways it was uh it was interesting to say the least um a lot of the plants like I had to go and buy my own shade cloth so we're talking about like an Argus system that is automated so it should have a shade like you could put shade cloth it retracts the everything right the fans go on when it's supposed to it has a misting system like all these things that were were told are able to be used I couldn't so I had to put in my own misting system I had to um, get my own shade cloth because all the plants were getting so so bleached it was just horrible and then put in my own <laughs> I could go on and on and on with stories for that place put in my own um, misting system and then they turned the water off all the time so it was it was like a well but they would turn the pump off so I had a person out there watering for me because it's about it was about a 45 minute drive from me I had someone out there watering and she'd go there and she'd be like the water's off so of course the misting system doesn't work because the water's off it was just horrible I'm honestly I don't know how those plants survived and you know what plant did really really good out there I'm gonna let you guess it's an anthurium it's an anthurium I'm gonna wait for some comments and you tell me if you can guess what plant I had had so much trouble rooting these plants so much trouble I'm gonna see if anybody guesses it in the comments before I keep talking <laughs> yeah it was it was pretty bad it was like just one thing after another and I mean I didn't want to leave like I wanted it to work but I just couldn't it just couldn't I was just losing money like so, and I was still paying him every month every month and it was like one excuse after another the heat's not working oh someone's coming to fix it and then the heat works for a day and then the heat's not working and then it was just horrible <laughs> nobody's guessing so I'm gonna tell you I had peltigerum that um, would not root and before I got, when I got the greenhouse, I was like, I'm going to throw them into soil. They were in moss. They did not root, not one root for a year. They didn't die. No roots for a year. Um, threw them into some soil or aeroid mix. And I sent them to the greenhouse. And we're talking that greenhouse went down to like 10 degrees at night. It, they rooted and loved it there. Absolutely loved it there. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. It was bizarre but I was like okay so maybe they like cooler temperatures <laughs> yeah it was crazy it was good to get out of there for sure 
um, but it was a bit chaotic because then I had this space too, but this space was pretty full with like plants that, you know, were the day-to-day -day plants and uh, yeah, I moved everything back into here and we're talking, it was like jammed in here. You couldn't even move in here. There were plants on the floor up every single aisle. It was jam packed. I was giving away plants. If anybody in YVR remembers that, it was like the summer of 2022. I was like, free plants at the back door. Come and take them. Take them all. Because I had no space. And they looked like crap because they had been living in this horrendous conditions for six months. So yeah, it was crazy. But good experience. Good experience. And you know what I learned from that? It is there are so many more variables growing in a greenhouse versus like the setup that I have here, um, especially in our climate. Like I'm sure it would be much different if it was in a warm place, but like when you're relying on heat and misters to create like heat and humidity, um, <clears throat> it's definitely a lot harder. So, well, I have been on here for like an hour and a half already. So I think I'm gonna hop off and finish numbering these guys and get myself some lunch because it's 1.30, so. Thank you guys for joining me again. Um, let me know if you liked this and maybe I'll do more of them um, in the future. And hopefully we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.